What's going on guys? Steve Mansker with Total Access Reviews here. Today we've got the Cobb Grill that we're going to be taking a look at. Um, this unit is advertised to be extremely versatile. It can do many different things such as roasting, grilling, boiling, frying, and even smoking. At just under 9 pounds it's extremely lightweight so you can take it anywhere with you. So we're going to be putting it to the test today. Let's go ahead and uh, unpack it, take a look at it, and we're even going to do a cook on it and make some kebabs. All right, guys, so this is uh, right out of the box. This is the Cobb Premier here we're looking at. Um, we're going to go ahead and start over here. This is going to be our outer casting. We've got our inner sleeve with built-in moat. We've got our dome lid, the grill grid, fire grid. We've got a roasting rack. We've got a nice lifting fork to remove that grill grid once it gets hot. And they also include a nice carrying case. So we're going to go ahead and assemble this and I'll put it in the carrying case to show you how uh, easy it is to take with you. All right, so there you have it. Um, just takes a few seconds to pack up. Um, again, it's extremely lightweight at just under nine pounds. You can easily lift it with one hand and uh, take it anywhere you want to go. Uh, it's a great for, you know, camping, um, using on your boat or RV um, or the beach, essentially anywhere where you want to take it. So what we're going to do next is uh, go ahead and test the grill out. We're going to put some charcoal in here and get it started and we're going to be making some kebabs. All right guys, so what's nice about the Cobb grill, um, it takes very little charcoal. So we've got eight briquettes here that we'll be using today. Uh, we've got our fire starter right there. So we're going to go ahead and light this. And all we're going to do is uh, put our briquettes right on top of here, and we'll let that heat up. Now we do want to let these go approximately uh, 15 to 20 minutes until the briquettes have turned gray in color. At that point, um, we're going to go ahead and put our lid on and let it sit for approximately 5 minutes, and we'll be ready to cook. All right, so this has been going for approximately 15 minutes now. Um, they look like they're gray in color. We've got some nice heat coming off of these, so we're going to go ahead and put our cooking grid on here and all we have to do is put our lid on and we will leave that for approximately five minutes and we should be ready to start cooking all right guys so we're just over five minutes we're gonna go ahead and get our kebabs on here today we're making chicken and bacon wrapped pork kebabs so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just put a little bit of oil on here and we are ready to go got a nice sizzle which I like to hear so we're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on here let it sit for a few minutes and uh, we'll check back in on it okay so we're just a few minutes in here I'm gonna give you guys a peek and show you how we're doing so it looks like they're doing great uh, they do need a few more minutes so we're gonna cover it up and uh, check back in on it okay so while we're cooking I did want to go ahead and highlight some of the nice features on this grill so it's got built-in feet here on the bottom, which allows for ventilation. And in addition, if a small child or someone were to come up and bump this unit, it really locks it into place and it's not going to go anywhere, which is very nice. And in addition to that, you'll notice I'm touching the sides here. This is actually cool to the touch. That's one thing that Cobb has built into their unit. You could actually pick this up and take it to a different location if you wanted to grill somewhere else. So that's actually really nice. Okay, so I also wanted to highlight some features on the inside of this grill as well. So you'll notice the holes here towards the outside. That allows for the heat to come up and allow for even cooking. And in addition, it's got lines here that you'll notice running to the outside. That's for the grease to run through there and run to the bottom, which will go into the moat. Um, that prevents flare-ups and you know burns on your food. So that's a nice feature that they have built into this unit. So we're just about done here. We're gonna flip these maybe one more time, give them a few more minutes, and uh, we're gonna pull them off and uh, give them a test. Okay guys, so here's our final product. The kebabs turned out fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and uh, dig into those in just a minute here. Uh, a couple of things I did wanna point out again, um, this grill is very versatile. Um, it's extremely easy to use, which is really nice. Um, it is very lightweight, so you can really take it anywhere you'd like to. Um, it does use very little charcoal, which is very nice as well. 
Um, some something that I did notice um, regarding heat control, it is a little bit difficult to you know control the heat. Um, there aren't any vents or anything like that that you can open and close to um, you know lower or raise the temperature. However, if you remove the lid, um, it does you know allow most of that heat to escape. So that's one way to you know cool it down a bit. And in addition, um, you can move your food to the outside edge here um, as that's cooking um, to get cooler temperatures. So overall, this grill gets a four and a half out of five star rating. Um, it's great. I highly recommend you guys taking a look at it. I'm going to include the link down below so you guys can check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave those down below. Uh, thanks for watching today, guys. Please remember to subscribe and have a great day.